as well as one. Sebastian throwing three. Sebastian and Jack. The 16 Jesus. Three. That's a nice job for Hulu. Six. Dean Farland. A four. Lewis and Neha Webster. 19. Sam. Lua Manabe. Seven. Caitlin Lyman. Eight. Geneva. Tui Tupo. Nine. Stanley Giongi. 17, David Poloku. 11, Elijah Nava. 5, Jeremiah Moala. 13, Tabita Tapia. 10, Lola Nessa Pono Moana. 12, Damon Doom. 2, Blaze Williams. And 1, Janice with Winniata Lola. And I just have a health safety requirement reading for you. You need to be required evacuation. The evacuation for this next gates where you enter the ground. There are two drinking taps located at the right of the scoreboard for members of the public. John's is on site and are located in the driveway. Security and event staff will be able to assist the required. First key to put past the public access area is clear. Now stuff number two is a smoke-free facility. Smokers will need to exit the stadium. Public toilets located on the hill are clearly signed up. Mobility ramps are situated from the entrance gate to the grandstand. Please keep these areas clear. Food concessionaires are on site and are situated to the right of the athletic lounge. No standing or walking on grandstand seating is permitted. John Walker Lounge and Balcony opposite, the public stand is out of bounds and would be pleased in a rubbish and recycling bit like that in the back of the grandstand. But to enjoy it, I hope we have a great time. Kia ora and welcome for the second of our five games here at Junior Finals Day at Mount Smart Stadium. And as you can see, it's going to be the Marist Saints lining up against the Pakuranga Jaguars here for the final in the under-14s. Great to have you along. And first up, victors, the Glenora Bears over the Manurewa Marlins in the under-13 division. Uh, we have the Marist squad running left to right from our broadcast position here and uh, just about to get underway. As mentioned, a bit of an overcast day too as we see the Marist Saints 
line up uh, briefly. Uh, it might come back here in a moment or two, but we will continue because we're about to get underway. As we can see here, Cody Stevenson uh, out the back here for Marist. In fact, I think that might have been the... Stay behind, boys, on me. So it's Papudanga from East Auckland up against the proud club that is the Marist Saints. They have been producers of some fabulous junior talent over the years. The Saints, and will they come marching home? That is the question. This is the Under-14 Championship Grand Final. And the East That's Aucklanders in with the football at the moment. Delange is the distributor, and he pops it across to Carlos uh, Tairafiti. That's him with the ball wrapped up by his opposite, what he's done in Lolle. Puts him away, 35 metres out from the try line. And the Jaguars will be wanting to get away to a good start. That's four, get uh, Lewin, of course, uh, the 14s. Uh, some spirited activity there in the under-13s as we see the big number eight, Albert Fino, Let with the football. Boys, He's final. 15 metres out from the try line, but Lost he loses it. position Lost as he boys. goes to ground. We'll and the scrum to be set, Elijah Tungota is the half here for the Marist Saints. They'll get the scrum feed 15 metres from their own line. Yeah, it's nice to be able to profile these boys this afternoon. A big occasion for them at a grand final at Mount Smart number two as well. And it's also nice to see that one and two have met in the big dance. So Pakuranga finished on top of the table at the end of the season. And also the Mara Saints finished second. Yep. And so who will come out with the yep. victory this afternoon? It'll be exciting to see. 25-minute halves here at Mount Smart number two. But Pakuranga in the blue and the Mara Saints in the green strip. Oh, one, I'm not used to calling morning footy too. We've still got a little way to go. But we hit the Arvo there, Lewin. But uh, even so, two. five games on show, plus, of course, live streaming opportunities for you to enjoy the Marist Saints up against the Mangere East Hawks. Oh, that's, that's at 2.30 two. this afternoon uh, from the home Wait. of the Saints, Helburg Park. Wait. Over there in uh, Waitaka, as we see the Saints with the ball and the distinctive blue and red oh, of the Pakuranga Jaguars. And, uh, the, again, reminded of the difference in size as we oh, see some good defense as the big number eights combined that's blaze williams for the saints chip over the top for him and it is pakuranga who have the ball on the far side of the field working their way oh, back and 20 meters wins. in from the southern wait, touch wait. line it'll be the jaguars wait. who will play the ball midway 20 and 30 meters yeah just testing the waters that's both teams now me, right behind, so right trying to complete their sets seeing what the weaknesses in other people's defence, getting their hands on the ball, just sticking the basics for this early stage of the first half. So, far short of halfway, the Jaguars with it. Out to the right-hand side, the fullback Cody Stevenson is picked off nicely too. And again, Wait. some fine defence on show from the Saints. Now, I'm not quite sure where that ball was going, but Fino ends up with it in his hands. He's Wrestled to ground by Dooms. Oh, Jersey 17 is David Peluto. Out wide they come through Taita Fiti. Oh, and it's the final. Saints. Wait. Shutting him down, shuffled across from Delange. Delange. Oh. A little bit of a mistake here knock and uh, knock on from the Scrum Jaguars. Here, Scrum feed here for the Saints. Just on the halfway line. Right here, boys, jump off, jump back. Great to have you along too in the under 14 final. Yeah. These two proud clubs. Three minutes gone. Big number six is Carlos Tadaf. He's already shown some skill as he pushed himself sideways, just trying to wait for a hole to develop as he shuffled across field, looking to punch forward. The back row is Damon Dooms. That's one. Five metres inside yeah, enemy good. territory as they look down through the left corridor. On me, boys, this is Denasquith, will he turn to Lully? Back on the inside, Vingota. That's three, get behind. Wait, go. Vingota with the fence. And quickly on him is Lebaz Jackman. Yeah, all good. And now peeling away from dummy half. It's a up good little run. Up, so within the 20 metre line Wait. now, through the work of Moala, 
Across into the hands of Fingota. He'll kick it. Taken nicely on the far side by the right wing who opens up a bit of an opportunity and he's away as well. Levi Morella. Morella, but the chase is on and what a rundown it was too from Sebastian Jack. On the 20. And Morella oh. is pulled to ground 30 metres from the try line. Still the Jaguars with a chance here now as they try to bust through. Decent run from dummy half from the fullback Stevenson. Solid D as well by the Saints. And the tackler's gone down on somewhat line, dusty. So it's Pakuranga right in front of the post. Will they be first across the line? Here's Fino. He will be. And Albert Fino. What a run from Levi Marila. And it's the Pakuranga Jaguars who draw first blood in the under 14 final. Yeah, well, good defense, cover defense by Sebastian Jack being able to cut down Cody Stevenson. But they showed the patience to be able to just play the ball correctly, get up, and the big front rower, Albert Finau, with the fruits for the first try. Ice is broken here, Mount Smart Stadium in the under 14 grand final. Pakudanga up against Marist Saints. Well, that run from Marilla was exceptional, wasn't it? And able to charge his way down there, downfield. Got them in a great field position. Very impressed with the backup work by Cody Stevenson, the fullback. And then there was this little drop off here, and in come Albert Fina. You know, no one was going to stop him, Lewin. He just had that attitude from 10 metres out from the line. This is going to be my four points. And he duly picked that up for his squad. Tight outfit is also a, a touch of class you can sense here as well. He's just to the left hand side of the post. He should make no mistake with the conversion. And we'll be looking at a 6 0 scoreline in the final. Yes, yeah, nice to see the Pakuranga Club represented here this afternoon as junior footy. Their top side, unfortunately, is in the B grade of the Shaman Cup. Um, so they don't look like they'll be coming up to the Fox this year. Here's another look at our replay of, of, of Morella. Full stride. Great work there from Riley Jack to be able to pull him down. And Albert Fino crossing the chalk once again for the. Jaguars 4-0 here this morning. Mount Smart stay Stadium line, number two bringing line. you the junior finals footy. All the championships from the under-13s to the under-17s streamed live on AucklandRugbyLeague.co.nz. Well, the kickoff is a poor one too from the Saints. So uh, immediately a mistake and a chance here for the Pukranga squad to, to build on their lead. Some good talent on show here at the moment. And uh, four is Brandon Coffee Pellet. It'll go across the tight half 50, no doubt. It'll kick for a touch if that's their intention here. But Albert Fino has got some shades of Albert Vetti <laughs> from close range. And I see the Warriors have also uh, picked up another Whangarei raised prop forward. We'll, we'll be returning home as well from Brisbane. And so. Oh. Oh, Remember, he's 31 years release. old, though. Well, uh, it seems like a, the retirement village. Um, no, no, no. Prop camp. forwards, prop forwards can go strong Get into the mid 30s. Right no doubt Wait. about that. Wait, and, uh, be great to have home with it now. Coffee pellet, good D as well as Blaze That's Williams comes across the top off. on D, Wait. assisted here by Dooms, the back rower, who gets himself involved defensively. Out through the hands of Hingano, Stanley Hingano gets it on to Tate Arfiti. They take a while to drag the, uh, the stand off the ground. Midway fine. 10 and 20 metres yeah. now. Hingano. Osata Hingano as well from the Pakuranga oh, on the Club. Line, on the line, I'm assuming this is his younger line. brother. Wait. Wait for him to play it. Up. Could be a cousin. Peeling away as Delange. On the line, boys. Final. On the line. Delange. Not quite sure of the pronunciation. And if we've got it wrong, um, apologies. In advance to mum's dads and proud relatives. Little flick over on the far side to the line. Brilliant finish. And Luani is in to score. And then in Luani, the second roll for the Pakudanga Jaguars. Solid effort for them on attack. That's try number two. How did they manage to get the ball out to the edges there? Let's have another look at Albert Finnell's flick out the back. Here we go. Straight to the hands of his fullback once again. Two sets of offloads and a hidden spin over the line for the number 12 for the Pakuranga Jaguars, Heneli Luani. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, there were some really skillful efforts in that play. 
Uh, the offload from, as you quite rightly pointed to, Albert Fina. Uh, the finish by the try scorer Luani was uh, a stamp full of class. So as we see the older age groups, we're reminded that some of these guys have got tremendous skill. As uh, we see them retiring, a couple of really tiny players as well. Uh, as we look towards the number 11, Lebez Jackman. And uh, just beside him, and you know, the little guys enjoy playing with big blokes. As we see the conversion attempt from wide out, Tairafiti with that uh, responsibility. 20 metres out. It's good to see the crowds of these two teams in supporting. As we await the kick from wide out. Should be assisted here by the wind. Wide certainly had the distance. And unfazed as teams playing from a right to left from our broadcast area. Yeah, thanks, brother. Pakuranga Jaguars, proud club based there in East Auckland. That's right. Most of the boys coming out of Pakuranga Intermediate, Edgewater College, Pakuranga College, Howard College. I need to remember the days, some good memories. I still have lifetime friends from, from playing junior Stay footy. Behind. Yeah, it's a, a great period of your life, isn't it? And the camaraderie that the players develop, you know, holds them in good stead. The networking involved, sometimes oh, underestimated in team sport as well by parents, but Wait. you get to meet a whole lot of interesting guys. We see Pakuranga with it, a little bit of a staggered run this time oh, around. This is Lola Manaya. Wait. Two on the door. The number 12 has got some attitude about his game. Luani, try scorer. He takes it to within five metres of the halfway. Across to the right again, it's Fino. And we come to enjoy his play already in the grand final. 11 gone, two tries to nil. And it comes to Taylor Fitzy. Stares it along the track and. Retrieved at the back by the skillful Jack, but he's under some pressure. Get back, get back, a terrific right chase back. as well. Sebastian Jack's got plenty of wheels with the run as Winnie Tana Lolly. That's a good run, too, right back, to get away. 12, 15 metres out from their line. Right, the back row of Dooms takes it forward to That's an three. extra five or six metres. Right. Good response here from the Saints. Not trying to do too much. One out running, yes. Four, they really just need to, to regain their composure after being socked at twice with two quick tries for the Jaguars who lead this one 10 0. Oh, Six get short off, of the halfway. Man. The Saints will push it across to the right hand side and the left foot kick angling towards touch. There's a decent chase going on here as well. The fullback comes into play, Cody Stevenson. He's chased in by Funu Mwana. Wrapped up in the tackle of Law Manavai. 12 metres out from the try oh. line. Great responding set there from the Mara Saints. They worked hard to get oh, out of their own half off, and found please. a good cook. Get off. Uh, and showed some good D to turn the fullback, Wait. put some yeah. pressure on the, the Jaguars in their own half and try and force the mistake. Play Most on. of the momentum of this half has obviously been with the Pakaranga Jaguars so far. But that was a pleasing set, oh, obviously. It would please the coach and the supporters Wait. of the Saints. Go. It was a decent enough Pop set, well. wasn't it? The Jaguars now have the football, a little popped Leon. pass and, and willing to give the ball some air if the opportunity oh, arises. Get Good defence from the Wait. Saints on Delange who's wrapped up and now quick play the ball for him. Number 10 oh, is Bruno Wait, play the ball. Yeah. Play it. 10 metres out from the halfway, back up to Hingano, makes a whole shot from Hingano, gets the ball across to Kofi Pele, runner on the inside, terrific oh, defence once God, again from Sebastian final. Jack, has saved plenty so far, Get through on. the hands, on a Jackman, he's got some wheels, Dooms puts him away, and uh, a great defensive effort as well by the Saints, after some threatening attack from the Pakuranga Jaguars. Just wait. Wait, yeah, wait. Dooms a little wait. bit worse for wear there. I've certainly been impressed by his willingness to get involved in the defensive grind. Oh, the back no, row has got plenty of decent one. attitude. 
10 nil, two tries to nil. And another opportunity emerges here for the Jaguars. 15 metres out from the try line, Pakuranga. With it. Five games live streamed today. Certainly there is a wind factor here in behind the teams running from our broadcast area from right to left. Westerly is here today. And, uh, we'll just assist them with the kicking game, no doubt. And, uh, let's say at this stage maybe a, a four or eight point wind that you might be combating, Lewin. They're taking it the back here by Luani. He'll get the ball wide. The fullback steps in. Stevenson's got some skill and some pace. Oh, here he is again. Nice. Dooms. He's Wait. everywhere and shows great Wait. commitment on defence. 12 metres out with the wind at their backs. The Jaguars surging through Alamoti. And this is Joseph towards the line. Oh, He's on the only line. three metres out. Line, great chance here Wait, for go. the Jaguars. They're across the line, but unable oh, to get boys, the ball to ground. Good defence by the Saints, but they're under the pump here. A little bit of a mistake at dummy oh, half boys, as well. The knock on. That's Joshua Delange. Yeah, he had a bit of a look. The hooker knock there. Here, Sometimes you forget the most important thing, and that's to pick up the footy. Well, oh, uh, spelled D E L A N G E. Delange? Delange? Yeah, I've got that. Oh, well. I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah the Delonghi, a wall heaters. They were power tools. Oh, they could be power tools or something like that. It's spelled slightly different. David Longy. <laughs> Break! Yeah. Delonghi. Delonghi sounds pretty good too. Thanks to Rusty Matu, who will be joining us too in the next uh, few calls. Of course, Rusty now working with Auckland Rugby League. And it's great to be working with our bro again here today. But this is a special opportunity too as a commentator. Um, I'm really enjoying the opportunity to call uh, junior footy. That's um, true, get back boys. And I recall a long, long time ago when I was playing junior footy, you know, it was very intense. And to build yourself towards oh, your grand final, a very off. special opportunity. Wait. And uh, there's a lot of emotion the night before the grand final. Butterflies on the big stage oh, with your friends out. And of course, final. nowadays, Wait. Uh, with these games Wait. being streamed live and recorded for replay, you'll be wanting to do your best. Wait All on. of these teams will. And the Marist Saints are just trying to crack the nut, so to speak. A little bit of a knock on turnover. Jaguars will have the ball 25 from their line. Also a special occasion for me, uh, Dale, obviously to have a sort of opportunity to call alongside me pop um, and have a bit of a mentor. Uh, as long as during the commentary, you don't remind me of the dishes to be done in the yes. washing to sort of yes. hang out. I think uh, this is uh, this is the corridor all the time. There are things to be done. And it starts with that tea towel over there, Tama. <laughs> Good as God, these boys will be doing their best. By the they won't have to do the dishes tonight if they win, though. Yeah, There'll be banana cakes all around. So here's the. Oh, I've been impressed with this guy. Right back, that's two. Number 11 is very good. Jack Make Bin. The line, the, in fact, both of the second rowers. This guy's got something going on Play as well. On. This is Tyler Arfati. Carlos Tyler Arfati gets it back to Luani, who's already seen him score a try. Under the pump here at the moment. Oh, and he's away again. Slippery That's Sam. Go, get off. 42 metres out from the try line. Get back, he's off. The Jaguars he's in control, off. seven to play till half time. The kick from Tate Arfitz, he bounces into the end goal, which, as we mentioned, in the middle, boys. one of the uh, skinnier end goals. Good crowds on hand too, as this should be too. This is finals footy. A lot of family connections making their way to the stadium. If you're in Auckland, yes, you'll enjoy wait for, wait for coming him. on down. Also, just want just to wait, remind wait. you, next Wednesday, same venue here, yeah. is the secondary school's finals night. Of course, we're into uh, finals in all of our back. grades uh, as well. Yeah. And, uh, we're three weeks away from the Fox Memorial final, which will be held here as well. Please, it's the Marist off. Saints with the ball as they push towards wait. the halfway line. Just the two tries in it so far today. Oh, Mr. Fino Luani, but that was 10 minutes ago too, so Marist have 
just steadied the ship somewhat. That ball somewhat risky as well. Like the play of the three, Sebastian Jack over the far side. Am I thinking that's Dooms again? That's Dooms! And everywhere, right Damon Dooms. Right back. Eight are off. And, uh, again, if uh, some of the names are inaccurate, apologies. We're working off the uh, team lists oh, four boys. Get off. that have been provided Wait. us. And sometimes there are late Wait. changes. Jerseys don't fit and the like. So if there are some inaccuracies, oh, apologies in advance. Low. 30 oh. metres out from the try line now, the Marist Saints with the ball. Nicely weighted pass as well. 14 is Fanoi Moana. He is away and Fanoi Moana takes it around behind the post to score the try, which will bring Marist back into the game. Yeah, well done there from Fanoi Moana. It's, obvious, it's nice to see that the Marist Saints have come and fought back two early tries from the Pakudanga Jaguars. It's a proud club, nearly 100 years old, and to produce some fine players, the likes of Dave Fusitua, Tui Lorohia, uh, Mutu Tony, Jean Anu, Ngamu, Sunny Bill, uh, the list goes on. So, Boy Asutasi, I think Asutasi, was another yeah. Marist guy. And, oh, look, you can stretch back in time to, uh, to some of the greats of, of yesteryear. Even the father of uh, uh, one of your headmasters early in your um, teaching career too, as well. Who would that be? Jason's dad. Oh, the Swans. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he was Gene Swan. He was a wonderful player. And if you're watching him today, Gene Swan, certainly uh, enjoyed watching your rugby league as a young fella. So uh, the extras are duly added. And that's put a little bit of starch into the contest, hasn't it? And uh, hats off to Fanoi Moana, who scored the try too. And... Big ups to the Marist Saints who've kept themselves in the hunt. I think the Marist Saints also have one of the oldest Fox Memorial players that are still playing today. Simon Iedemir. That'd be 40 about years old, wouldn't he? Well, I don't know if you can add uh, you know, two, an or extra three years. two or three years. <laughs> but he's certainly a wonderful character. For Noi Moana as well, successful with that conversion. 14 points to six. Sorry, 10, 10 to six, excuse me, is the score at the moment. Stay behind, and we've got stay just behind. on three minutes to play until half time. Remember, there's a substantial win behind the Jaguars. And uh, to the Saints' credit, they've hung in there as well. Now, that turns out to be a good kickoff. Very good kickoff. They should know to sort of hang and base themselves on the dead ball line. Usually, the pivots catch the kickoff, but it was left for the front row there, the middle, and the he didn't want a bar of it. Well, there's the kick. Now, if it. Bounces in the end goal, and then goes dead. Yeah, it's underneath the posts, and that's Stay where the Marist Saints Stay find behind. themselves. The wind Stay at behind. the backs of the Jaguars. The Saints can ill afford to concede another try near the half-time break. Tadafiti gets hold of the ball and shunts his way hey, forward. Like a, boys, a steam engine. Wait. Slow to his go. feet this time around. That's a Fino. He enjoyed his play. His opposite number oh, wraps him up. It's Blaze Williams. It's been a good old That's tussle in the number eight department. Delange wide at, uh, to Hingano. Three. Eight metres from the line. This is a oh, solid carry to. That's three. To the line. Three. Wait. Go. Delonghi and Fino just couldn't quite hold on to the ball. An advantage here for the Not Saints. On yeah, well, I mean, the dummy half should have known to hit the first receiver instead of trying to do the face ball out to the front rower. Hingano was calling for the footy and some signs of frustration towards his ho hooking teammates. So the scrum set now 10 metres out from the try line. Great conditions here today. Overcast, yes. But the rain has stayed away. No, 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 Kindly. Three games to go through the course of the afternoon. Thanks for taking an interest. Yeah. I'd like to let your Brand. family know offshore that all of this available live stream and a whole shot here for Maris. Now let's check the wheels. This guy's on the boil. This is Willie Tanalole. He'll get run down. I get the feeling as the Jaguars, known for their pace, oh, come and sort of midway 20 and 30. Terrific chase from the East Aucklanders. Still alive though, and Marist come a powering forward as Moala gets hold of the ball. 
It's on the 20 metre line. Quick pick up and go. This is the number one, Webster, on Louis line, Webster. He's, line, he's five metres out from the try line. Great chance here for the Saints. Five oh, metres out, yeah. a one-off run, perhaps needed That's to be three. worked through the hands. Now they have an opportunity to do that. Fingota out wide. This is Dooms. Dooms gets the ball nicely onto Lua Manuvai. He puts it back on the inside, and the 14 can't get through. That's uh, for Noe Moana. But what a good first half of rugby league. At the break, it is the scoreline reading 10 6 in favour of the Jaguars. Hope you're enjoying action from the under 14 grand final here of Auckland Rugby League's final day. We'll take a little break and be back for the kickoff of the second half in five minutes from now. Yeah, yeah. Did it when the parents are far away. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. The boys are all like, stuck there 50 off sides. Five, two, two, three, five, two, two, five. Let's go right. And welcome back here at Mount Smart Stadium, number two, oh, the venue for our finals day today. And it's 10 6 at the break. It's the Jaguars from East Auckland who are in front. Great to have you along. And another mistake from the Marist Saints. Look, that's three times they've made a blue, to be honest. Uh, they've made a, a kickoff mistake, which has gone out uh, on the full the last time. The kickoff from the Jaguars bounced and went dead. It's another little blue to start them underway for the second half and uh, that blue for the Marist Saints, Akinaisa. 
uh, Palu. Please, that you're able to join us here for the under 14 final. So some good conditions here for the Pukuranga Jaguars, and here is the man of the moment, Albert Fino. He takes him to close range, only three metres out from the try line. DeLonghi gets the ball wide. Here it is into the hands of Hing Hunnell, and it's the Saints who come up spurring in defence on the line. There'll be questions asked of that defensive line, and they must maintain composure and structure. And at the moment, some pretty solid ah, defensive efforts at hand. Just five up. meters out from the try line. The Jaguars will be going a long way to winning Where the final boys? if they're able to get across that's here and score early in the second half. They are in possession and close to the line. Let and again, the Saints go across the top. The Great defense on, on DeLonghi. He'll play the ball back to Luani. Luani tries to scramble in from dummy half. I don't think so, but the referee might. Let's have another look here. He was pretty close to it all. At first, I wasn't quite sure, but it looks as though he's going to give Luani the benefit of the doubt. Let's try number two for the number 12. I didn't think you were able to burrow, uh, burrow through the play the ball. Uh, you see on other footage of, of, of or other, other instances of that similar play, and it goes against their attacking team. You see here through the replay, he almost put the ball through the legs of the guy who played the ball. It well, shouldn't have been a try if you ask me. Oh, well, we're allowed to to um, uh, to disagree. Uh, quite obviously, we can't change the result. But uh, we get a chance to analyze that and to have the luxury of a replay from up top. You too can do that uh, as well at home, but uh, not at the ground. Even so, the Pakuranga Jaguars get off to a good start. And really, Lewin, it was a mistake from the kickoff that had the Marist Saints under pressure from the get-go. And uh, they really only have themselves to blame inattentive for the start of the second, second 25. That's right. And as you mentioned, it, it wasn't, it has happened more than once. And those are crucial moments of the game, especially the start of a fresh half getting caught out with basic mistakes like catching the ball on the full or, or putting your foot to it if you can't do so. The Carlos Tauraffiti is uh, pretty close. He should be okay from that range, and he is. So it's 16 to 6 now, and here are the Jaguars. You get the feeling with perhaps one hand on the trophy, but there's a long way to go still. 22 minutes to be precise. The wind at the back of the Marist Saints. Because we said if they, if they went through, then these would have been offside. And uh, just awaiting the, the ball boy. Lovely shot of the ball boy, look. Not one of your biggest players, but he's the mini Saint. Stay behind, boys, stay Good behind. To see. You know, stay the, behind. A lot of these ball boys end up being great players because they're so interested in it right from the get-go. It's one that was shuffled on. along the ground. Especially, especially with the introduction of technology uh, nowadays. Dad, you see most kids on the iPad, on the cell phone, Wait, on the computer. Not enough of them are out climbing trees or kicking the footy around. You've got that in one. Oh, All right, mums, dads, you're two. watching. Get those kids Wait, out after the footy, two. of course. Make sure they've done the dishes and their homework. But they've got to climb a tree and kick a ball today as well. It's imperative. And of course, young, young blokes oh, got to get muddy. Marcus so, we won't get muddy here today because the field's in great nick. Thanks to the grounds staff here at Mount Smart Stadium. Oh, Pakuranga have the football. Four. They're 42 Wait. metres out from their own line. Centre field, options left and right. And Joshua Delangi will work it to the left. Out through Stan Hinganor. Pushes it on the far side. Got some wheels out there oh, as well. And uh, taking the shot, the left wing. Oh, number two. I caught it out. I caught it out. Just holding the, in fact, it's the five, Casey Foster on the far side as well. Let's remind ourselves it's junior footy as well. A little flop's okay, isn't it? No flopping. No, it's not okay. Here they are. The Jaguars. Big ups to the club too for producing quite a decent flag and a banner. Almost taking up half of the stadium. It's good to see. Jaguar proud. 
and, and control here at the moment. 16 to 6 in the under 14 final. Good D there by Dane Mariner. And jersey number four for the Saints. The number eight has been very impressive. Finau. That one's lost. Nelly Luani. Uh, loses the football. He's already scored two tries, though. Good technique from the tacklers there. Shoulder on the ball and forced it out. Here we go. Great tackle there from another 17, David Poluto. Of the Mara Saints. A few of the boys sucking it in. Still with a big smile on their face. Sam Ngaus, not much of him. That's him in the headgear at the back. But a couple of blokes in the squad, huh? Twice his size, but isn't it great? This is great to see. He's probably got the biggest heart, though. Yeah, you there, reckon Dan? so. Now look at this run. The one Showing it down the left side. Here come the Saints flying down the left edge. Back he comes, Winnie Tanalole. He's in trouble by the Jaguars. Swamp him. And he's the ground 20 metres out from the try line. Dummy half work for Sebastian Jack. Got speed to burn, Jack. But this time he gets the pass away. Lovely ball to Moala, who comes charging towards the line. Five metres out from the try line. Jack goes into dummy half. Picks it up quickly. Gets it across to Fingota. Fingota can't get through. And he too is put away from the Jaguars' D. Six metres out. Here is Moala. Has a go. And Moala will do the business himself. Close range. He saw the opportunity. And he's in to convert. The opportunity to score came from that great break set up by Sebastian Jack. Showed the, the, the nous of being able to draw the pass and hand it over to his winger. But our hooker showed some great strength there, Jer Jeremiah Moala, to combat the charge of the Pakuranga Jaguars. We've got a game in our hands, Dale. I think so. I hope you're enjoying the action. Here's your try scorer, Jeremiah Moala. You're absolutely right, Lewin, and Sebastian Jack has got speed to burn, and just nice little interplay as well with Dinascos Winitana Lolle, his standoff, who worked down the left edge, and then now a bit of pressure and three tackles later from close range, and Moala is in to make a game of it. 16, and you'll assume that this kick uh, will be successful with that responsibility. Alanessa Fonoi Moana. And up go the flags. And Dean, there is your try scorer, Jeremiah Mwala. The great skills on show here in the 14s final. 16 12, anyone's game, three tries to two. And the Saints giving themselves every chance. This is grand final day. Five games coming to you live streamed on the Auckland Rugby League website. Big ups to their digital manager behind, of content, is Troy Hardy. He's recognised that live streaming could be the way of the future for us all to stay in touch with what's happening in the Open Rugby League competitions. I'm very pleased to be able to bring you uh, the action from finals day for these young players. Good carry. With a bit of a, a hand break at the oh, last release. moment. Get off! The Lulumanaya, Tonetoa in Jersey 10 has been working hard and there's a big hit from Fino, deemed to be a shoulder charge. Of course, uh, that's out of the game now. Captain, captain. And uh, one of the players might be called out to be spoken with about the shoulder charge and captain, that would be captain. appropriate. Oh, yeah. None of that, last one for everyone in this team. On this field, last warning, next one you're gone. None of that. No, no, I'm not going to hit because I'm going to keep it. Wants to shake hands with the referee. Well, you're not really allowed to touch the referee, but uh, I guess Big Albert will, will learn Wait. that. He's been having a great yeah. game today. Yeah. He's called straight back into the action as well because Cab Lehman decides to cart the ball oh, forward dear. and he comes at Fino. He'll play it for Moala. Down the right side comes Dooms. Wholehearted oh, attitude towards his footy at the moment, minutes. the back rower. Let's go. The Saints you just feel like they've chopped it down a gear. It's an old phrase, minutes. but 
This is in times we had bomb cars and had the double clutch, Lou, and you wouldn't remember that stuff. But anyway, here we go, Fingota. Trying oh, to get up the Bombay Hill. You Let's know go. it. Out Mark to the right hand side, our director certainly remembers double clutching. She lived on Waiheke Island, Mark you didn't even square. need a warrant of fitness over Mark there. <laughs> 22 <laughs> metres out from the try line. You just get the feeling, don't you, Lewin, that what Marist are, are starting to build in confidence. This is going to be a, a wonderful conclusion to the under 14 final. The tap and the go. The go provided by Lehman. The tap on by Moila. 12 boys. metres out from the try Race. line. 10 to the left hand side of the post. Back up on the inside. 17 is Puluto. He comes towards the line and then oh, he is shunned, repelled, line, and sent packing. He's five metres out. The Moala has a go from dummy half again. Moala has got it under the guard of the Jaguars and he has made them pay. We might have to give him the nickname. Moala the Mole, because that's what he's doing out of the dummy half, just burrowing through once again. Unlike the Pakuranga uh, Jaguars hooker, who almost illegally scored a try through the legs of his own mate, Moala can sniff, can smell the beautiful aroma of that try line, and he keeps carving. <laughs> he can smell the aroma of the try line, do you reckon, eh? Moala the Mole. Okay, well, but... We use that term uh, with, with all respect to their whanau, of course. Of course, but he has. He's just tried to go underneath, and often you get that from hookers. Good, good form being shown by the number nine, and this certainly has squared us up. Well, Fanoi Moana is now looking to take Maris into the lead. Will be the first time of the match if he's successful here. A picture of concentration, 15 metres out. He hits it nicely, splits the sticks and takes the lead. It's the Marist Saints in front, 18 to 16 in the final. Yeah, as you mentioned, the first time they've, they've led the game. Apakuranga shouldn't be disheartened by, by the scoreboard just yet. They have the ability to to get back in front. Just under 10 minutes to go in this grand final, the under 14 championship, Pakuranga and the Marist Saints. And uh, it's like to mention the bench players oh, here in the on. final. 14 for Pakuranga, Shoi Tofila, 15. Tofia, Low New, Jaden Tupo in 16. Carl Ravinga in 17. And for the Saints, Valeresa for Noi Moana, well he's on at the moment. Stanley Oangi, uh, Javina Tutupo, David Poluto, who's oh, also on, and Elijah Ngaro. That's one. And uh, we might also acknowledge their team management as well. The Saints, Tony Lane boys, is the make coach. The line, make the line. And uh, Sophia Lehman who boys. is the manager. The Up. management for the Pakuranga squad. Congratulations to them making the final. Jeff Foster and uh, Ngi Ngaro. Oh. Uh, the co-coaches. We have a game on our hands. Here's Dooms. That's all right. High. It was okay. Behind this three. In fact, we enjoyed it here from the commentary position. <laughs> Would have looked good too on TV. Here they come. It's the Saints. Spring in their step. That's this time, boys. Sebastian Jack. Behind, boys. Get behind. Remind ourselves it's the closest Get thing on. to assault without getting charged for it. Tyler <laughs> Fetty saw an opportunity. Stole the football, and now he's racing away like Swiper at Adora. He's in under the post. How could that be? Let's have a look how it came to be. It's not like we can go up to the bunker to check it out. I think the referees missed another, another call there. Don't jump too quickly down the throat of the referees, though. Let's have a look how it panned out. We're going to get a replay uh, backing up. And it's tied up. It's, he's been one of the best for Pakuranga. How does he end up with the football? Well, look. Not, he wasn't standing not square. square. He's very offside tied up. It's it's well, you, you can't blame him. So the ref was perhaps out of position. He's only a young fellow as well, the ref. He so. saw the opportunity because the dummy half wasn't there he in the right it. spot. And that was right play, but he hadn't actually retired. Mind you, you, know, you make the tackle and you've got to square up again, eh? Well, there's another look at it. We'll see he's right. Back at the play, the ball was the, was the drama. 
Might be able big, to have a little look at it again. It's a big standoff, Tate Afeti, isn't he? Of course, the refs too can air. There are a couple, couple of touch judges could have got calls from uh, oh. as well. Carlos Tate Afeti. In fact, apologies, I thought Tate Afeti, of course, is the East Coast. The, the, Tarafiti is the uh, surname. Yeah, tough call on the Maris Saints there. Did well to get their nose in front for the first time of the game. And they were robbed of a try just then. Oh, well, these things happen in junior footy. Oh, I in senior footy as well, don't they? There it is there, yep. Yeah. Riley Jacks there with his arms out saying, what the? Oh, well, he can't change the scoreline now, but the Saints still got the wind behind them, so they're a chance to come back, big chance. Just adds a little bit of spice to the contest, doesn't it? Sebastian Jack gets hold of it. Down, down it goes. Taken right on the line. This kid's got some oh, wheels as well. Doesn't get much chance. It's 22 18 now. After Malou, the unlikely one, try. Wait. Go. Off to the right hand side comes Fino again. Shh. Shrugging off the ah, attempted tackles. Two. Can't get Let away go. from yeah. Webster. There we go. And Jesse, number one. Work to be done. This is the man they've got to keep an eye on. Luani has already scored two. Keeps his arm free. Ah, and a potential offload late in the That's tackle. Three. Just short of the halfway line. Oh. DeLonghi. You know, one of the bigger players. Low ah. new. That's four, let go. I think in 15 Wait. it is. Off the bench. Tarafiti gets it to Hingano. Stanley ah, shows it. Tackle on me, boys. 17 has gone down. David okay. Lotu, he's, uh, he's on his feet now. Look at this skillful player. He's almost able to pick it up. Tarafiti. That's about Knock standing there, skills. Knock on there, boys. And, uh, I just like the attitude that he, he plays his footy with. And uh, if this is what we're seeing from him in the final, you can assume he's had it on show all year. This is almost a grub and a regather. Yeah, just didn't have that end over end roll on that on that grubber there. It was a difficult pick up for Tarafiti. Yeah. Let's see if Maris can capitalise on on that mistake. Play the ball. Just on uh, six and a half play minutes to play here, here in the under 14 final. Fifth tackle, sorry, my bad. Fifth tackle. We're from the captain of the winning team briefly uh, after the match. Fifth tackle. Back there, boys, turn back there, turn. Yeah, two markers. My bad, there, boys. Presentation Hurry up. Uh, as well to the under 14s. Yeah, right back, boys, right back. Tackled on the last, no need for the scrum, Dale. Play the ball. From Oumuana. He's lost the football. And the referee says that there's been a knock on and tackle. not a strip. Lost it in the so tackle. the Jaguars high five it. No, hurry up. I will stop time. I just feel like our referee doesn't have the authority that he needs. So, on the footy field, we've got another touchy coming on. He'll probably suggest that it was stripped. And that's uh, how referees should work. It's a combination in the end. The man with the whistle in the middle. And we're sorry he don't have... His name, or endeavour to make sure we do know the names of the referees going forward. Stripping. That's what's happened. The touch That's judge here said, no, no, I think it was stripped. The referee takes that, that call seriously Wait. from his colleagues. We need to remember they're not mic'd no, 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 up no, no, either, no. so Wait for my call. they have to physically Wait come over call. to their touchies and, Ready? And, and hear the response. It's okay, quick tap. This is the man who has uh, a, a lot of oh, ability to really change the course of the game. He's got Wait. wheels to burn. His name is Sebastian Jack. Let's see what we have from him. Blaze Williams says, well, I know what I've got to do. And another Stripping, strip as tackle. well. Two in the tackle. Right there. Do you want to kick? Do you want to kick? Yeah, discipline's coming into play or the lack of for the Pakuranga Jaguars. Five to play, Lewin. Five minutes. Close one here in the 14s final. Some contentious decisions boys. as well. But ain't that the way in modern sport? You Wait. can't get it right all the time. 
Good defence. Oh, Let's see what the Jaguars have. Here's Blaze Williams. Boom. Oh, that's two. 15 that's metres out from the line. Dummy half work for Moala. He's clever. He gets it across to Finghota. The, the pass, initially not good, but now it's okay for Sebastian Jack. He'll turn it back on the inside for Layman. Caleb with it. He's grasped right in front of the post. Oh, only eight metres out from the try line. Three. Dummy half work for Moala. He'll go to the right side. He's pulled in. Gets the ball away. Still out to the right-hand side. On to Fingwata. Threads the needle. And the dive for it just slightly late. What a good chase. And it is, it's gone dead off a of Jaguar, so we're underneath the crossbar here, and the Saints will get another chance. To the what an awesome kick That's put on the toe of the, of the half the there. The Number middle. seven, Ethan Fingota. Yes. I the thought the Jeremiah Moala would have another dart out of dummy corner. half. Here to go. However, three to go, it. three minutes to, to play corner. here in the in the final. We'll head down and hopefully kick grab boys. some responses from either captain stay behind well, who is going to win the game that's what we need to know too with just three minutes to play and here is the kick perhaps could have gone a little bit deeper it's into one of the danger men sebastian jack speed the burn around the outside jersey oh, scrag and he's the ground behind. 22 meters out Up. moala into dummy half here comes Winnie Tanaloli on the straight and Get true. Behind, He's 10 line, metres out. Line. Can the Saints come back? 22-18 is the scoreline. The big number 17 with a chance. Puluto towards oh, the line. Right, but five. he is held up two. over the line. What an amazing finish we're in store for here in the under-14 final. Wait. Auckland Rugby Wait. League for 2017. Out wide. The pop ball out to the fullback who has gone in to score. And the referee will consult with the touch judge. It felt right to start with. And it is indeed called home. The try for the Marist Saints. Louis Dow Webster is credited with the try. Now we are locked up at 22 all. This is the fullback. So Louis. Deha Webster. In to score here. We've just got four minutes to play. On my own with. It is 22 all. Yeah. Should really check and see what the story is for full time draws. I think we'll probably be going into extra time. Just, I probably should have organised myself well enough to understand that ruling prior to arrival so apologies but uh, we've got our connections just sorting out where we are with this should that be the case it is extra time that we go to not golden point uh, the 14 with the kicking responsibilities Valanessa Fanoi Moana this is a tough one for him as you can see, 20 metres out, right there on the northern touchline. Just a minute to play on, on our clock. Of course, we are in the hands of the local officials. We'll be doing our best to be as accurate as we can. Not surprisingly, this one squirts away. And so we're locked up at 22 all. What an exciting conclusion here to the 14s championship final. Great to have you along. Here for the ARL finals day, Mount Smart 2. They have the time. And it's been an entertaining game here. Moala scores two tries. Luani likewise for the Jaguars. Webster. It's just a couple of minutes to play. And Talafiti will restart. The Jaguars against the Saints. The Saints with the wind at their back. Stay behind! Another minute Stay break behind. and then the turnaround. It's the restart from Tarafiti. Taken by Jack. On the 30 metres. Oh, Good carry here off, from the Saints back. again. Don't kick. There's the hooter in the background. And uh, the wrap up there. 
I don't know. I'm not going to. 22 all. I don't know. So, don't know. 10 minutes of extra time is uh, the call that we have here. 10 minutes. So we're playing a whole 10 minutes extra time. We've already played, remember these are 25 minute halves, so they've already played 50 minutes. And we have uh, 10 more minutes of action. It's important that we get this clarified as well because it could happen. It does happen regularly, of course, in finals footy. They're just tossing to see which way they'll play. And of course, from our broadcast position, you'd want to play from right to left. Certainly, you get the wind at your back if that's the case. An enjoyable game of rugby league here in the under 14 final. For no sport after six minutes. Luani soon after 10 0, and the Jaguars took the lead. Fano Moana came in to 10 6. Luani, the second of his tries, pushed the Jaguars out to 16 6. And then Moala had something to say about that with two tries. And then uh, Tarafiti with that unlikely try and perhaps a uh, little bit of a blue from the uh, adjudicator's perspective. But even so, his try. Stood 22 18, and of course, now we are locked up at 22 all. So, our clock here uh, coming to you through the net will start at uh, 50. It looks as though the Jaguars will turn and have the wind at their backs. So 14 0 we'll play the whole 10 minutes. Okay, I have the official word is that they will play 10 minutes one way, there's no turnaround. And at the end of that 10 minutes, if they still have a draw, they will play another 10 minutes. And if it's still draw, then they will share the championship. That's the way it rolls here in finals day. And uh, I think we'll see leg. a result in the next 10 minutes. Played nicely there, there by me, uh, the Pakuranga 7, Two. Hingano. And it comes to the oh, replacement on. Tofelo Neil. Wait. Go. He plays it for Joshua. Delange onto Fina has been one of the best again with that impressive oh, fiend. That's two. He's been one of his tools of trade. Back into the centre. There's an opening, the one that they were been looking for. And Luani has been exceptional today. Oh, me, boys, it is me. Jeremiah Moala who pulls him down that's on the 30 boom. metre line. The Jaguars sensing clear. an opportunity. There he is again, Fino. Oh, that's four. Pushing forward and even getting the offload. He's very there. skillful oh, with the offloads. Tackle was completed there, back there on the tin. And uh, tackle, I think tackle, he'll ask the Jaguars to play the ball again because he had called yeah, fourth tackle, held. Fourth tackle. 20 metres out, tackle. under 14 final. Full time at 22 all. Looking for the icing oh, on the cake now. Boys. One of these Final teams, tackle, the Jaguars, off. will have some favouritism. Wait. Pure and simple because of the wind at their backs. Want to hang on or nice flick out the back door and tail off as he looks for the field goal. The oh, tell me about it. Good play from the youngsters. It didn't come off, but the thinking was cool. There is a player down. It looks like a knee injury. tarafiti has been classy all through the day. There's one of the young players, relax, I think maybe relax. a knee injury. Let's have a look how it happened. He's, he's already decked. A flick pass from Hingano to Tarafiti. Pretty ambitious, just not quite the skill level needed, but uh, very, very interesting play. There's some 
running with peers here for one of the young fellas. Just wait, That's wait. The 13, who I've been hugely impressed by, Damon Dooms. Just wait. Enjoying his footy. Wait, wait. Oh, looks like he took a whack in the groin. Not Ready, part boys. Of the problem there. But, uh, Ready. Terrific football from Stay the behind. young back rower. And tap and go for the Saints. This time it's Mariner. Ah, it on me, boys, right back. Just outside the 30 metre line. The score is locked up at 22 all. The Saints have it. With the carry for Nomwana. Oh. That's two. The Jaguars getting heavily involved. They look for some opportunity through the left corridor, and Moala takes it forward, That's wrapped up in the tackle of Tui Netoa. He's all off. Yeah, all good. And good play, Wilitana Lole. Oh, that's four. Good D. Tarafiti looking to steal the Not football fair. again. It's time it's Not a penalty. Fair. The Saints will get an opportunity here. <laughs> yeah, do you want to 35 minutes out. Decent crowd in the background, as you can see. Back to see the teams and family support. It is a hallmark of grand final day. This is what all these young players build towards all year. The cold Tuesday, Thursday night trainings. Commitment needed. Hats off to these young players. They're really going at each other here oh, in the grand Reese, final. 20 metres, midway 20 and 10. Go. Pakuranga under some pressure. On the line, boys, that's two. 17 is Puluto. Wait. Ten, you're off. To the right they come, Fingota. Runs into a wall of oh, Jaguars defenders. On the line. And he won't get across this Wait. time around. Dummy half is Moala. He is good from close range. So is Blaze Williams. He's got it, gets the offload out the back onto Fingota. It's still alive out wide. It's been touched and knocked forward. Play on, says the referee, no go. The referee takes the call from the touch judge. And there was a green hand in there as well, so a knock on. Scrum set on the 10 metre line. Jaguars get the scrum feed as we get another look at that little mistake. What's that little shuffle there? Out to the right. And that's just been touched there. Hurry up, boys. So a good Hurry call up. in the end. Dane Mariner. Move across, boys, move across. Touching the, uh, the football. Yeah, move across. Yeah. As it went by. Don't break early. Heads in. Don't break early. Yeah. So the Jaguars get break. the scrum feed on their 10 metre line. It's taken at the back by the big number eight for now. Release! Get off! Get back! He is wrapped up. In fact, Lost he loses it. the football as he gets Lost to it. his Lost feet. It. And he's not real happy about it either. He's done some good things today, the big guy. But, uh, a couple of little faux pas as well in the mix. It's a get another look here. He says it's been stripped. There's been a hand in there. The referee says, I don't think so. And just 10 metres out from the try line. Here is a great chance for the Saints. Remember, we're playing through on the full 10 minutes. Let's go, let's go. So who will be... In front of the scoreboard it's in, it's at the end of it's 10. It's down, Sadly, the stadium it's clock's a bit worse for wear here, so uh, a little unreliable there. Come we back are in here. the hands of the official timekeeper's sideline. Do not push or do not rock the ball, okay? Do not in not, uh, Put the right on the nicely. money accurate, Let's what go. you're seeing in front of you, although it will be pretty close. Go. Break. And so here come the Saints. Fingota. He'll punch it wide. Here's a chance for winning Taylor Lolle. Lolle for the corner. And he is in the score. The Saints score in the corner through the standoff. The Jaguars, their defensive line was getting a working over as the Saints worked it to the right. Great little interplay between Fungota and Willie Tanalole. He had the wheels to get across. And now they have one hand on the trophy. Still work to be done for the Saints. Let's have another look how the try came to be. This Fingota, and it comes to Winnetan and Lolle. And four minutes to play as he dives into the corner to secure a try. And now with a chance to convert, but what a finish. So young Dinesk with Winnetan and Lolle.
Star of the show, perhaps. An extra time in the final of the 14s. Two metres in from touch, 20 metres out. A very difficult conversion, but they are in front on the scoreboard. Winitana Lolle, the try scorer, in extra time. This is a decent hit. That is a decent kick, and up goes the flags. Oh, what a kick. 28-22, with less than four to play, more like three. Desperate times now for the Jaguars. What a finish for the Marist Saints. A wonderful conclusion to a terrific season for both of these squads in the under-14 Auckland Rugby League Championship Final. Stay behind, stay behind. Tarafiti with the restart for the Jaguars. Three minutes to play. The kick is good and earning them a repeat set because it will be the Saints who'll have to go boys. underneath the crossbar for the restart. They've been pretty sluggish in this quick, department quick, quick. off the kickoff and they've been exposed a couple of times through the course of the final. Now it gives their opponents a chance. How important the two points from nearly the sideline as well. So that conversion, which was exceptional stop from Fenoy Moana, could be the two points that gets them the trophy. The Saints with it. Just, Just a couple more. of minutes yeah. to play. The Jaguars with some class acts. Will Fino yeah. feature. Will the double try scoring Luani feature. One or both. Fino has the ball now. He winds himself up, Big Albert. A cross field he goes towards the touchline oh, on the far side. They'll have to spread it quickly That's here, the Jaguars. Quick play the ball. Luani carries it to the 10 metre line. Two, Shunned and pushed back a couple of metres. Still with the Jaguars and still with a chance. The big men are trying to make their That's presence two, felt. Off, Five the from line, the boys. try line. On Here the we line. come for a Not massive these, conclusion these, to the 14 final. Right, Can the Jaguars get across the line? They go right side to Fino. He gets the offload to the man, the smallest man on the field who is across the score. It's Casey Foster on the far side. Oh, it wasn't Marilla. Let me just check. It could well have been Marilla. And uh, we'll just check there for the number, number two I'm picking down the right side. Let's have another look. There's not much of him. Here's the offload. The pop pass on the far side. It is Levi Marilla. It was so wonderful too in the first half when he made that exceptional break down the right side that resulted in a try as well uh, for the Jaguars and Luani who was the scorer at the back end but now the pressure is on Tarafiti we've just seen the conversion from the sideline and now a conversion needed from the sideline to keep it square remarkable conclusion with just seconds to play and for young Tarafiti, who's had an exceptional game himself, Carlos, this is pressure plus. Wouldn't it be remarkable if he was able to steer it through? A bit of wind assistance, yes. But there's some distance factors here to factor into it. And also he will need to accommodate the wind factor as well. So looking to square it up. At 28 all now, after the try was scored out wide for Marilla. Here's Talafiti. He's hit it. He's hit it, but he hasn't got it. And the Huda will come very shortly. You can see the disappointment on the young man's face. But he gave it every opportunity. Talafiti goes to ground. The Jaguars also. The Marist Saints, though, as you can see, under 14 champions for 2017. Twenty-eight to twenty-six. What a conclusion! Extra time result. The Saints get the spoils of victory for the Jaguars. Dejection is their partner for a short while here at the back end of the game. What a terrific game of footy! A wonderful final. Emotions running high here in a team that played their hearts out today.
They scored five tries, but they couldn't get the championship as the Saints go into a huddle. The huddle that is thoroughly deserving as well. And for the, for the Pukwudunga Jaguar as well, disappointments, a reality in grand final day. It's the Jaguars. They just couldn't quite get it at the end. The Saints take the win here in the under-14 championship final. They win this one at Mount Smart 2, 28-26. Disappointment, really, that they're not a chance. Co-captains there, too, for the Marist Saints. They are Tevita Tafia and Caleb Lehman, uh, who are a sideline here. We'll get some thoughts from both of them uh, with Lewin sideline. All right, now we feel the sense of brotherhood here with the Marist Saints under 13 co-captain champions. Boys, how do you feel? Well, heartwarming, eh? Feel solid just to uh, get back at them from last year. The game had everything. We went down to extra time, kicks from the sidelines, a few missed calls from the ref. Your coach is obviously your father. What sort of words would you, would you like to say to him? Obviously, a lot of thanks. Yeah, a lot of thanks. Couldn't do it without him. Yeah, thanks for all your knowledge and everything you've done for us. And obviously, a few of the boys deserve a mention as well. Um, it's a strong bond you create through the year. Um, who are some of the names of some of your bros in your team that you'd like to acknowledge? All of them. Yeah, all of them. Well done to the Marist Saints. Go and enjoy your, your, your victory, boys, and, and surely be celebrating with a few lemonades tonight. Yeah. Nah, beers. <laughs> Stop it. Back to you, Dad. <laughs> so, mother, well, congratulations <laughs> to these two teams. You know, that's, uh, uh, this is what the sport is about, really. You know, it's the spirit of what's involved here, working hard, to get a victory, but acknowledging your opponents, even when you don't. And uh, these images uh, are the ones that we should all remember. Let's go into the stands, look in there and enjoy the crowd, the connections. Big ups to the coaches of our junior players as well too, because it's a big sacrifice to their family lives. We see a bit of a celebration from a dancing Jaguar. And of course the Saints coming away with the victory there. And all as a result of the conversion from the sideline, a remarkable conversion as well, bearing in mind it's kicking into the wind from Vanessa Funoi Moana. A wonderful game. Fino, Luani, Tarafiti, and uh, Morale caught scoring tries for the Jaguars, and the Saints, of course, with the win by two. 28 to 26 to the under 14 Auckland champions. Thank 
Thank you for all the supporters that came out to watch our game for both teams. And thank you for all the sponsors and that has been supporting us. Yeah, thank you.
Floyd Delay, ladies and gentlemen. We are linked to Wife TV, as we did mention earlier on, so we're just waiting for TV to um, give us the call, give us the cue. As soon as they do that, we will be underway. Thank you. 